Welcome back, art students. Okay, you can see that my water is looking very water-like because I used the cool colors, blue, green, and purple. Um, try to have like, you know, make little waves, little ripples in the water, kind of like I showed you how, okay? Now we're going to create our lily pad, okay? So you're gonna take your construction paper and your scissors, and you're gonna create an oval shape. And I'm just, I'm not even drawing it, I'm just cutting it out. I'm making it up as I go along here. And usually lily pads, they're kind of like an oval shape. They're not always a perfect circle. So I'm just gonna cut out my oval shape. And I like lily pads that had rougher days. So I'm just going to cut out a sliver for my lily pad. Okay, so that is how we do it. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to decide where do we want our lily pad? Do we want it off to the side? Do we want it down here? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller. I feel like this is too big. So I'm gonna shrink it down size a little bit so it doesn't cover too much of my water. I think I like that size better. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think this is better and I might wanna make my sliver a little bit deeper in there. I think that'll be nice. Yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's a good lily pad, okay? So I'm going to put my lily pad down here so that I have a lot of extra watery things going on over there, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your trusty glue bottle. You're gonna open it up, twist it open. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to glue it on the bottom right here, a dot of glue right there, and then do some glue, a thin layer of glue that goes around it like this. And then we're going to flip it over like this. And we're gonna place it down. We're gonna decide how do we want it to go. Oh, I like it just like that. Press down on it. Count to 15 in your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. There you go. That should be stuck there pretty good for right now. Once it dries completely, it'll be nice and permanent. Okay? Now that we have that glued on there, um, you can grab some coloring utensils. I'm going to use color pencil. And you can get very detailed with your lily pad. You can add some extra green tones to it, some wrinkles, some extra lines going around to show some detail. These are like the little veins, little shadows. And there's a lot of different green colors to choose. I'm gonna try for another green color. So that we get different green tones. Yes, try not to go too much in the center because you're not going to really see the middle that much anyways because that's where our lily is going to go on our lily pad. There. So let me give you a close-up. You can see there's some details going on in your lily pad now. Looks much nicer than the plain green construction paper. All right. Now the fun part. I will do that in the next video. I will see you there. You're doing a good job so far.